you are going to learn what is generic servlet and how generic servlet is different from http servlet before i get into this topic i wanted to tell you one thing we have written some servlet program so far hello world program we have seen session handling in all those servlet programs i have used http servlet not the generic servlet in this class you are going to know some facts about generic servlet and of course http servlet is more powerful than compared to generic servlet even though it is very important to know something about generic servlet because it is most widely asked interview questions viva questions http servlet came later generic servlet was there since from traditional days from the moment the advanced java came and from the, those days onwards generic servlet was there but http servlet came next so http servlet is more powerful and it is in use and as soon as we are done with the generic servlet and we'll see a program on generic servlet and how to make use of generic servlet how to write a program and what set of classes are used and uh, what set of package packages have to be used all those things we'll see right now to use http servlet we need to import a package called as java x.servlet.http and in all our previous programs we have imported two packages if you have remember java x.servlet and java x.servlet.http so i'll best demonstrate this topic by just by uh, making out the differences between generic servlet with http servlet i repeat http servlet is the one which we have used so far in order to make use of generic servlet you need to extend a class called as generic servlet and uh, this class generic servlet is from the package java x.servlet and in case if you are using http servlet you need to extend http servlet http servlet is a class that belongs to the package java x.servlet.http even though you use http servlet class which belongs to java x.servlet.http we are we we need to import this traditional package java x.servlet also we need to import it because there are some inbuilt classes in this particular package which is very powerful package if not generic servlet we will be using other classes that are related to this package that's why whenever you are writing program which uses http servlet you need to import two packages java x.servlet and java x.servlet.http this is the first difference between generic servlet and http servlet the next so the next difference is a generic servlet in in generic servlet we need to overwrite an abstract class called as service i told you in the life cycle of servlet there are three things that happens initialization service and destroy in http servlet instead of using service method in place of service method there are two forms that we can implement the service method one is do get and other is do post and it depends upon the way the parameters are passed from http in http if user has used get method then in servlet you need to use do get in case user has used post method then you need to use do post in the same way if you are implementing the generic generic servlet then there is a service method that you need to overwrite it's an abstract class you are going to override it abstract class means the definition will not be there but you need to override the same definition you need to write it here as in the way just like http servlet you how the way you have request and response two objects in the same way for generic servlet there are two things one is request and other is response and uh, here is the class name servlet request okay you are creating an instance for that and servlet response and you are creating an instance for that that means these two are the parameters that has to be accepted by the service method every time you override a service method make sure that it takes two parameters one is request and other is response which are of type servlet request and servlet response in the same way in case of service method if you are using http servlet that means in our previous programs we have used already http servlet where so instead of service method we can use two methods either do get method and or do post method you already know where to use do get and where to use do post it all depends upon the way the user is passing the data from html form whether the user has used get method or post method depends upon that you need to choose do get method or do post method okay so you might be using do get method or do post method which takes two parameters and this time parameters type is http servlet request and http servlet response and this is related to http servlet and now whatever i'm going to talk about uh, next 2 to 3 minutes is very important which makes the clear cut difference between generic servlet and http servlet here the word generic means look at here you should have heard about a generic medicine 
it's a medicine that is applicable for all types of diseases okay generic means there is no dependency you don't have to worry about rules and regulations okay no dependencies will be there it, it more independent generic means independence is there generic servlet means it is protocol independent there is no dependence on the protocol you might be asking sir i know only http protocol what are the other protocols that could be possible in web applications fantastic smtp that means simple mail transport protocol smtp is a protocol and ftp is also a protocol in the same way http is also a protocol so you might be having any number of protocols while developing you you may have to accept any number of protocols while developing a web application but with respect to generic servlet you don't have to follow those protocols it is protocol independent so it is easy it's very easy to use flexible very easy to use but in case of http servlet which came later it is protocol dependent which protocol particularly http and you know http servlet the complete package developed by w3c consortium which is very famous community for developing web applications http servlet is a class that belongs to http servlet package which is which was originally developed by w3c so it's a protocol dependent why do we need it because generic servlet is easy it's flexible to use but it's not powerful with respect to http you can see that there is only one method service method is there there is no particularly another version of service method which can handle post data that is provided by the user using post method that means sensible data because there are two forms that a user can submit data using either post method or get method post method means encrypted get method means no encryption so to handle different types of data that is coming into the application server we don't have different types of service methods this is one of the biggest def defect of uh, generic servlet so this is, is this is eliminated in http servlet http servlet originally designed and developed by w3c which is particularly depend upon http so in case if you wanted to go for ftp or smtp then uh, generic servlet has to be used but http servlet class is dedicated to accept http type of response and request only okay right now in, in case if you are if you are getting request and uh, a response uh, if you wanted to throw the response to the file or if you are getting the request from a file then you need to use ftp in such case generic servlets are used that's why this topic is important where to use http servlet and where to use generic servlet you need to know right now of course uh, now nowadays you don't find uh, developers using generic servlet because http servlet has become more popular uh, in uh, using http servlet of course not only the http protocol dependency inside http servlet you can also use smtp and ftp nowadays okay so that's why it has become more popular and you will never find a developer using generic servlet but you need to know the difference generic servlet is protocol independent and http servlet is protocol dependent please remember this point okay this point is very very important now with respect to web applications http servlet is always preferred okay even myself as a person who is guiding you with respect to web technology subject i'm telling you http servlet is more powerful than generic servlet and make sure that you use http servlet for your real time applications and all of your programs but since this topic is there in your academics this topic is told by differentiating with http servlet now we'll see one small program here let's write some hello world program using generic servlet okay if you wanted to use generic servlet you don't have to import java x.servlet.http that package is dedicated for http servlet there is nothing to do with by importing additionally import java x.servlet.http is not required what is required is java x.servlet alone okay since i am using print writer class which belongs to java.io i am importing only these two packages now instead of extending http servlet unlike our previous programs here we need to extend generic servlet extends generic servlet this is a class name generic servlet demo your class name could be anything else but make sure your class name and file name are same and here you need to overwrite service method here make sure the method name is not do get or do post do get and do post are related to http servlet but not at all they are related to generic servlet in generic servlet there is only method called as service method that we, that we need to overwrite 
that we need to override. Overriding means already in the base class, that means in the base class generic servlet, already this method was defined, service method. Okay. So that definition I wanted to override with my own rules. I hope you have already gone across that uh, topic, overriding. We have already had a lesson on that with a very nice, beautiful examples relating to overriding. I hopefully you already remember the topic okay so that's why i don't talk much about overriding here simply i make a statement that service method is being override overriding okay it's being i mean it's being implemented by us by overriding this piece of code traditional traditional statements that we have been seeing since when we started these servlet classes onwards we have been seeing this one okay set the response time response to the text or HTML, get a print writer object. The print writer object is P writer here. The object name is P writer. And frame one sentence so that you will be seeing that uh, sentence in the screen. So upon copy, just simply copy this code and paste it in the notepad. Save it as generic servlet.html. Manually compile it and uh, place your class file in web apps and host your application and see the output as hello world. Definitely this program executes in the same way you copy this code and if you are using Apache NetBeans or Eclipse simply copy this code and paste it in the NetBeans IDE or Eclipse IDE just run it you'll be seeing hello world on the screen okay here there will be two statements that will be printed generic servlet example as well as hello world okay so we have already seen some examples where I've used um, manually how to execute the servlet manually I've shown you and uh, how to execute servlet using Apache NetBeans also I've shown you and here exclusively for sake of simple program generic servlet demo I cannot use again the same thing hopefully you can do it okay simple program very simple program instead of writing these many number of lines you can write only one single line where saying hello world it gets the properties of paragraph and prints hello world on the screen it is just a small program to show how generic servlet works that's all fantastic we are done it is possible for us to host and upload many demanding courses on this youtube channel only if you support us by subscribing please subscribe switch on the notification bell stay connected and enjoy learning